Welcome to the reverseengineering.com add-in for integrated portable CMMs for Autodesk Fusion 360. All reverse engineering 3D measurement and inspection commands are seamlessly integrated directly into the Fusion 360 for a user experience to move between the mouse and 3D data capture seamlessly. All building drawings, solid models, or surfaces. Here we have a uh, inspection blade on the table, and we're going to go ahead and demonstrate capturing planes, diameters with probe compensation, and uh, the seamless integration of how easy it is to capture uh, data. Simply uh, bring up uh, your digitizing uh, control dialog box. Uh, you'll notice that you are tracking live as you move your CMM around and you're connected. And uh, with that, you can turn your axes on. And in this case, we've already uh, set our alignment uh, to park coordinates of whole center, whole center, whole center. And so we'll go ahead and uh, measure the uh, first set of planes. Now, I'm going to go ahead and set up a target sketch and just create a new sketch. And we'll select uh, that sketch and say finish. So now we have a new sketch. We could name that sketch, and uh, that'll be our target uh, position. So if I hit uh, diameter and I want to measure to that sketch to the XY plane, we'll now measure the inside diameters with probe compa three and just quickly uh, measure our plate here. And you could do best fit circles and take as many points as you like for each diameter. In this case, uh, for this demonstration, I'm just uh, simply uh, capturing uh, the holes quickly. Let's change uh, to an outside diameter. There we go. And we got all that information. Let's go ahead and just show the uh, seamless integration of being able to build uh, your model with the uh, data captured. And uh, to do that, we'll just uh, pick solid and we're going to do an extrude. And we'll just come on down here. There we go. And as you can see, uh, how simple that is. If you want to turn your sketch data back on, you can. You can see it went to target sketch too. So you can capture data in any uh, sketch you uh, desire, any plane, and uh, put that and add data on demand for, um, for later use and uh, feature tree management. Let's go ahead and just demonstrate uh, capturing some planes, putting some diameters in these uh, piston cutouts. And to do that, we'll just go right back to tools and we want to measure planes. And so we're gonna measure uh, the datum here and cut out one and probe comp that and cut out two and do a probe comp on that. Now uh, with that, we're gonna go ahead and measure inside diameters on that and we'll uh, select our target plane. There we go. And we're going to measure the inside diameters. There we go. And then we need to, uh, we want to measure this uh, diameter here. There we go. And simple as that. If you want to build points, line splines, 2D, 3D, take cut plane profiles, uh, all your features uh, are on uh, demand uh, relative uh, to how you want to capture uh, that data. In this case, let's say I want to uh, capture a 3D spline, and I'll just do a 3D spline across the uh, piston crown profile here. There we go. And I did a, a closed spline on that. So you can see the uh, spline profile. Now you can do the uh, revolve and do the uh, cutouts. Thank you very much uh, for uh, taking a look at the 
very simplified workflow of using your portable CMM for hard probe data capture. You can use any point probe, ball probe, three millimeter, six millimeter custom uh, is required. Thank you again. And we're glad that your portable CMM is now integrated into Fusion 360.